Hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to HD which stands for Hillian and Rakir. And welcome back to Minecraft where we'll be where we will be jumping onto Corvel's SMP server once again for the seventh time now apparently. And it looks like it's going to be a <laughs> a lonely case again. Hmm. It may change. It may change. Yeah, the there was talk that people were expecting things to well there was it was expected that a good bunch of people would drop out rather quickly and i believe some of people haven't shown up at all since but yeah also who has vanished unless we just landed we had captive <laughs> yeah i will not be this point and yeah i imagine that it is kind of tricky to keep a server full at the time yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Were many of the Americans? Uh, most of them were in the yeah in the American time zone. So at the time that we're doing it, it would be around uh, somewhere in the morning for them. So that does help explain why it is on. Time zones are can be really annoying because most of the people I know online actually live in the American time zone, like Canada, yeah, the, the states and uh south america and yeah it makes it real annoying to try and keep up with people or interact with them because yeah when it's uh when it's almost when it's night here it's just noon for them yeah i think this is so we could need a bit of variety of uh, uh of time zones just to make sure that that you don't have the that one player always alone yeah I've had it happen with multiple community stuff, and yeah, I, it's not much of a work with this, but I have decorated this a bit, and I've organized the stuff as well. This one is mostly Very just nice. miscellaneous. Uh, I was have, to say, yeah. I, did, I don't recognize the floor here. <laughs> yeah, it's the green trees from the nether. It's valuable yeah, stuff that, over here. That I knew. I also didn't remember you put them down last time, so at least you explain why they are here now. Yeah, and all of these are reserved for all of the blocks that we'll be digging up eventually. Uh, miscellaneous stuff like rails here. I still need to put in a rail up to the surface. Mob drops. Uh, all the valuables already said. Food and plants. And I'll, I'll be extending this outward as needed. But for now, I think it should do. We have this still from last time yeah, that we can yeah. use to... Is it empty? Or how, how much copper did it melt? A few stacks. It's the fuel that ran out first, it seems. All right, that's good for... Is that design... Uh, okay, here's the a part that I don't, I don't know, because I haven't played and probably would have helped if I played to know it. Would coal only burn up as long as there's something to melt, or would it just keep burning even if it has nothing to melt? It would keep burning. Oh, that's... Hmm. Yeah, that means if we were to put in coal and let this melt offline, we would need to be careful how much we put inside it then. Yeah, as long as we'd have more incoming, then coal would be burning. If there is... Uh, a better way to put it is that if there is something to burn, then some or something to cook or whatever, it will start... But if it if it runs out after that piece is done, it doesn't start consuming anymore. And yeah, we need to correct this a bit, apparently. But yeah, I'll move the trees closer so we could actually start up a sort of mm, charcoal farm. And we'll still need to keep a manual control on it. Now I'm just grabbing more coal so we can actually keep smelting stuff. Yeah, for we do need the copper. For we did say, uh, last time mention we were to do a little special trick with the copper, with the copper stairs. Um, uh, if you need to remember, uh, do, you, do you remember how we did design the torch lights in the giant stair way? Yeah, you want uh, to put copper above and on the sides, correct? Correct. Okay. 
still gives a little bit of amount. a accent, I guess you call it. Yeah, to accentuate it. Uh, mm. That's the drone. Great. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Need those. Also, I put up two crafting tables in the ceiling here, just in, just in case. So we, do, we don't have to keep running back and forth between areas. Okay, <laughs> okay I will admit, that's, that's actually clever. And I can imagine okay. people missing that. Yeah. Um, let's see, we're thinking of using basalt and blackstone for the smithy. Yeah, I think so, since they're a bit more darker and hopefully flame-proof. Yeah. I think we can, if if we can find more gilded blackstone, we can use that as well. Just oh, to, yeah, that. yeah, put in little hints of difference. Uh, oh, yeah, but that will definitely give it a bit more easier degradation since... Yeah, so it's, it's maybe going for sort of dwarven style. The also dwarven style that would be hard to replicate unless you have something like a gilded stone. I'm taking the crying obsidian as well, just in case. Um, deep slate, we have a good amount of that still, so we might as well try to use that in the construction as well. For now, though, um, we'll need a bit of a trick. Of we'll need to decide on how to encase this over there. Yeah, like we, we, we have the sort of prototype here. Problem is, yeah, we don't have a shell for a prototype. I'm thinking we can put that there, and it'll probably work if I just do this with dirt to make it easier on myself. Even I should also grab a shovel and get that case, of course. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's see. I could see us using copper steps for that as well, if you we wanted to really make it like a forge-like, with a ceiling thing going on. But yeah, we probably need to see how much it will be needed first I think right. we could go with something like this maybe we're yeah, then... putting glass here <clears throat> to see if it's active or not yeah that could work then we can put in fuel on the side here which we wouldn't need to do hopefully too much compared to well putting something on top of it yeah, simple, but should work. Just a 3x3, three three, or a 3x2 three, three by, by putting it against a wall like this. It's better we can't make an iron chest, but that will be a bit more, well, less flammable chest. Mm, I'm not exactly sure if we have iron chests in this, since I don't think those are in vanilla. I think those are really only in mods. Wait, there are... Okay. First time we're hearing it. And... Oh, wait. I think there is another type of chest, but those are at the... End world? Sort of sh scuttle chests? A shell of something weird? And their chest. Uh, uh, shulker chests. Shulker, yes, those. Thank you. Those, those people we won't see for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you better heard it before some uh, they get despawned. And then that goes there. Actually, we should dig it out out as well. Otherwise, we can't open it. And just for the moment, we'll dump in our stuff. Yeah, and hurry, grab the dress that was on the floor. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Avoiding to accidentally have them deleted by the rule uh, automated deleted thing. Yeah, that doesn't go off too often, but still better safe than sorry. Exactly, for there is such a thing called bad timing. And we put that one there. Then we just have to think of what to actually cover it with. And also to get our stuff back. That is a good question. We all have one gilded 
stone block. At the moment. Sadly enough. Actually, we can probably use that to mark the middle of the room. There. Okay, that looks a bit... Hmm, I, I wonder, can, can you make different blocks with it? I'm not sure. I think, I'm, as far as I know, they're only decorative. Yeah, they, they, they don't look exactly what I expected. <laughs> no, let's see then. Uh, we could use blackstone brick on this. It, I'd say that looks the most furnace of the blocks we have <clears throat> at the moment. Kinda, yeah. And we can easily make more. It's going to put this in the walkway. Um, actually, now that we are at the walkway, okay. there, that's a magical okay. doorstep. Uh, when it does get the arcane into the world, oh yeah. If you had more of those, we could use maybe some of it as to decorate this with. Yeah. In the moment, I don't need to go back to that. I can just make some more from this. There we go. One furnace almost done, save for one little bit of glass. It's, yeah, I put in here. You could use a window pane as well, but... Hmm... I think it would look more fitting to have it just a chunky thing like this in front. I think it works. Okay, then we just... What? Yeah, it, it fell in earlier. Just put that in. And then it should get started. There we go. We could probably cover the back as well, or at least this bit, to make it look like it's entirely made out of black stone. That looks nice. Very nice. Okay. Now then, let's have a look at all of the blocks that we have on hand. Yeah, we and have... don't forget the top of stairs. Yeah, basalt. Actually, for that, we can just... Throw these in here for the moment. Sometimes they just automatically picks up something again that even after you put it down like that. There we go. 22 blocks. And there. <laughs> Wait. Oh, right. I remember. We need to make them into these first. And then we can make them into stairs. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that one and the ladder a bit wrong. We wanted it to flip. Yeah, it's just going to take a bit of a moment to look at how that would go. That way and then there. All right, that looks good. At least the bottom half looks good. Yeah, we'll have to fill up that little space there. And hmm. let's just take a quick look how this would look with basalt around it. Whoa. Hmm. Does it look that way on other... Okay, these are treated like logs. So well, that that's... kinda makes sense for ain't basalt usually shaped like those huge stone pillars you find in, the, uh, in some areas of Ireland. I'm not actually sure. And we can fill this up. No, not. Uh, let me grab a bit of dirt to act as filler. How's that look? 
looks quite nice. But actually, hmm, if we remove the two coppers on the side and use basalt, it would look like stone pillars supporting it. Yeah, the copper looks a bit out of place, and well, considering we will be putting up, no, oh, red, uh, partially, you know, partially rusted copper that was. Uh, I'll just do these quick, like that. You mean? Yeah, I, uh, I thought it would flip, but it looked like logs again. It depends on how I place them down. Uh, there we go. Okay. And yeah, it would make more sense to have basalt here instead of a uh, heat conducting copper because we'll be having <laughs> bookshelves here. Yeah. Okay, then we just mimic that on each of these. Uh, let's see. We all have enough for that one. Then another two we need to make. Uh, I'm think I think we're low on we don't have enough blocks for that. I maybe. Yeah, for let's see, we only need for uh, is it, we have one done. So how many do we need in total? We, we should one, probably count here. Like two, one, two, three, four, five. So basically ten then, and yep. but this one will give us extra copper as well. So. And we mine it out around it. Yeah, oh yeah uh, the black stuff there is well marking where we put the bookshelves. Yep. Let's not fall down. Yeah, that looks damn good. I'm not really sure how strong basalt should be, but. This way, they may also look like uh, support pillars. Oh, yeah, and I think basalt is created due to volcanic things. Just unsure how, but I don't know in another area of the world, in the Indonesia, I think. Apparently, some ancient people looked at basalt and decided, let's make log cabins of them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a protected area now. But some e ancient culture in Indonesia use basalt as logs. Okay. That does make me question a bit how light it might be. Well, I think it's more of a, they had needed to have enough people to lift them. For they do come in various sizes, and this one a bit more... Like, probably a bit better size for lifting. Unlike the ones you may see in uh, Ireland that are just massive. Yeah, I meant more in the case of if they can make boats out of that. Uh, boats? Or, or am I mishearing things a bit? Basalt is stone. You don't make boats. So that's a cottage. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, I was thinking. Them. For some reason, I was thinking boats. <laughs> yeah, not cottage boats. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I meant to build houses and temples. Okay, that does make sense then. Yeah, do they? Um... They. We know they were houses due to it's rather really obvious, but they haven't survived time too well, hence the way they are very protected. And yeah, I forgot which country it is in Indonesia, but they are not happy with having tourists near them. Like, they allow some researchers to go there, but it's awful limits for tourists. Yeah, understandably, because, uh, yeah, just look at some of the shit that tourists have pulled before COVID. Yeah, like some areas may be more durable and allow tourists, as long as they are more respective and have some observation, but that area, I think, is, is a bit not of Not even a, a chance taken. Yeah, they're not taking a chance, but it's so unusual and probably the only place it, it, the pe ancient people did uh, use basalt for structuring. And uh, it is already endangered from erosion and all that, I think. Yeah. 
So they won't let researchers. Very few. They don't allow too many, even, I think, uh, due to they want to minimize the risk. Yep. Okay. Going to make this a bit different, maybe. Having it like this. Or am I going yeah, to mirror that good. over there? Uh, wait, why do you put a chest? Oh, wait, you. I wonder why do you put a chest on top of the bookshelf? They realize, oh, wait, this. this is the forge. <laughs> there is one thing I can think of to maybe change in this design, though. Hmm? Hello there in the chat. Uh, Bumps, SWO. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to stand for something. But welcome all the same. Um, how does this look? That does look kind of nice. Hmm. I think I'm going to Do stick like with the stair one for the moment. Yeah, for it, it, it kind of gives a unique look. And now to... Hmm. We could push the wall in a bit here. To have it. Uh, why you have Ukraine on the stream? Uh, basically, uh, as a fuck you to Russia and Putin about well starting a freaking war. Uh, yeah, that's my uh, uh, mostly silent show of support for that. Uh, Okay. I there just hope go. it ends uh, soon before it goes escalates anymore. Yeah. Now then. Uh, let's continue this line across here, and then we'll have to see what we do about the openings. We could just leave them open for the moment, see how that looks. Uh, well, it's open as uh, at least blocking the areas behind them. So, yeah, that's probably a filler. good idea. Probably gonna end up going to the nether for more materials, but at least he, at least it's getting quite well started. Yep. I'm thinking about having a crossbeam going around here, maybe. Maybe? Do I think that maybe pillars would work more if you have the space for it? There we go. Okay. Bookshelves here. Maybe put something... Maybe instead of fi filling this in, we put something behind it. So that it isn't all just a flat surface. And then we have this like still. Boxes or something. Uh, hmm. Something really adds to the arcane feeling. Now yeah, we'll have to see. For the moment, let's take a look at the flooring. We have the crying obsidian at the entrance and. For the moment, let's put one of these in there. So people are wondering why the obsidian is crying. Helium called it, uh, call them both fat. Okay. Um, let's put down an example of each of these to see how they would look. Uh, we've the deep basalt. I think I'm going to keep the basalt to the walls. So we have the blackstone, we have polished blackstone, and we have blackstone bricks. That's the deep slate bricks, cobbled deep slate, polished deep slate. Uh, yes, hope the polish, a uh, polished floor uh, of this won't cool slippery floor. Um, probably best to keep the blackstone bricks for the furnace here at the moment so 
It's going to dig out a bit more so we can view all of them. We have cobbled deep slates, polished, brick, basalt in two orientations, blackstone and polished blackstone. Hmm. They look good. Hmm. So I feel like bus uh, the basalt looks best as if walls and pillars, since, well, you kind of make them look like uh, interesting uh, pillars. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we could use the deep slate for the first circle or so uh, to go around the place. And well, since it's already in here as well, that goes my pickaxe. Or pickaxe. Um, I'll pull out the diamond one. I have enough diamonds in spare. Almost broken. Yeah, it'll still last a while. Okay. Uh, put this. Actually, put it here for the moment. Hmm. I'm thinking that, and then polished blackstone as the second layer, and from there we'll see. And that can work. Again, it's an arcane forge, so it's not really a average forging area, or rather, every smithing area. So it would yep. probably be a bit decorated to see all that special work here. Probably should have filled up the floor earlier, but oh well. Yeah, I did tell you that, but do you listen? No. Okay. Do I did say you could remove the wood, then fill it up? And yeah, we're definitely going to need to go back into the nether for more resources sooner or later for this. Yeah, but again, we we all making good progress. Go just have it run underneath the <clears throat> the library area, and might as well replace this with dirt for the moment since that's easier to remove. The pen would be that would be this. Go. But yeah, we probably can go to the net of this episode for I doubt we'll be able to build too much without more resources. Yeah. And but again, we might need more of these to light this up. Yeah, and at least still again. Massive step forward, like, yeah, just look at the areas with the fire and furnace. Thinking a bit more decoration here. Uh, perhaps some more of our copper. Okay, it has run out of something. And then we do, well, this. Okay. All right, maybe. That or Amethyst. It could also work, yeah. And we circle the lamps with this as well. I, I, I kind of hope that your friends haven't, you know, minded the Amethyst area clean since... Yeah, you want my the crystals, preferably, not all the blocks, since the crystals will spawn. You can turn the crystals into new blocks. So just, yeah, remove an entire amethyst area is basically removing a renewables resource. 
I'm not sure if they found it. And I wrote down the coordinates for it somewhere, I think. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Actually, we could probably put amethyst blocks in the corners here. And I should still have a good amount. Dude, I'm out. Just enough is the answer. I have enough shards to make more. Oh, all right. There we go. And now to think of what to do, uh, what to fill these up with. So first off, let's let's have enough of this to circle the place. Okay. Okay, there could be some noises audible from outside. That's because a goose, uh, pair, a, a couple of geese, uh, recently got a second nest, and the uh, <laughs> the sole survivor of the previous nest isn't too happy about having, well, been replaced. And oh, I say we're gonna likely need to replace the blocks under the upside down copper stairs as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, what will we do that with, though? Oh, wait. Hmm. Due to its shape, we could put a special block there to... But either regular block or something that stands out. Yeah, we could put a slab underneath it. Yeah, slab or... I don't know if it's a bit unnecessary to add the glow shrooms under them. If that's a bit redundant. Yeah, that'd probably be a bit much. So, okay, yeah, that's a bit better. So, the, the only thing I think would look better there would be something like a ruby block, but uh, yeah, we don't have rubies as of yet. Yeah. But if we had, it would be no more the better choice. There we go. Hmm. And we had the copper wheel also aged to green, so we would match the purple bit better later. Yep. Now, what to put in the little side bits here? And these as well. Hmm. Good question. Could put more copper in the ground. Well, do remember, we likely want to use copper for other things as well. Yeah. Let's dig this out. And then just try some things. Can we do anything with dripstone? Yeah, we can make dripstone. <laughs> yeah, I think dripstone is mostly used as decoration or as traps in some cases. Okay, I do like that it. The light reflects off both the amethyst and the copper. That looks damn good. And we might still want to replace the blocks behind the fire at some point, but oh well. I think mm, I'm getting yeah, glimpses of the ugly stone behind it. Yeah, behind the fire, I guess more amethyst or glow shroom? <laughs> Hello, noon. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Helian. Uh, no, I was going to read out his uh, 
quote unquote tip for a bit, but yeah, I don't think no need to. Still, I, I, I will. I, if you don't, I will. By noon, senpai. Hello there. Tip of the day: lava balls are bad for you, bad for the skin. True words. True words. Mm -hmm. Wait, I just realized it. We have lava blocks, but those magma thingy. Yeah, they hurt though. If you walk on them without armor. True. And okay, yeah, maybe put them under the torch, uh, the firewalls. If you go too close, maybe they still reach and burn you. Yeah, we actually let's give that a try. Because I think you need to be walking right on top of them. Yeah, not even getting hit. All right, let's see, see how to do from this. All right, it, it cannot fit. And this one does not. Intruder! Intruder alert! There you go. Okay, the only thing now we would need is probably polish to keep the copper uh, red <laughs> to make that match. Yeah. Okay, there. But still, it, it, it puts more light to the area, but also a bit more the wool. Uh, welcome to the Arcane Forge feel. Another. Uh, wait. It, did he just... He picked up the remains of the previous one, and... Okay. No, 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 no. Not only that. Did he just... Did he just slap you with a piece of meat? Yep. <laughs> A zombie slaps you with a rotten piece of me. <laughs> that, that, that feels like a deep insult. Just a quick idea here. Wait, are those bones? No, they're calcites. Uh, calcites? All right. Mm. I think it might be overdoing it a bit with the contrasts. Yeah, it, 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 that, that looked a bit awkward. It's probably better to keep it a stone there. So, yeah, what we're doing at the moment is we're, well, decorating this place a bit. And another the idea... Arcane Smithy. And then... Uh, ooh... Getting a bit more depth to it as well. Uh, what do you do? Oh, right. That, that, that would probably burn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if the fire system is really set up for uh, triggering that, but let's just be sure. Pickaxe is about to break any moment. Oh, no, no. We, we, we're not sleeping in here. <laughs> yeah, no. it'd be a bit hot for that. As I say, is it the, it's it will be our arcane smithy or arcane forge. I, I guess it would be called arcane smithy, while the thing next to here and here will be the arcane forge, mm -hmm. which we probably uh, will make more arcane like when we have the resources for it. Oh, there is someone. Emerald Age, a Ace, a Ace Age, a Ace, ace not Age. What? Uh, have you infected me, Hillian? Uh, maybe. Oh dear. Let's see. I, I, I'm, I'm not ready for my beer to shrink. Okay, throw in a bit more coal because yeah, it was out of fuel. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is uh, this is me. basically the hole that we've dug out so far. Uh, this staircase leads up to the surface and down into the deep slates for mining. And this also connects to a mine shaft, which we've blocked off for the moment, except for well that area because I thought we blocked. I thought it blocked off most of the areas. Uh, Got to secure another portal here. We should probably swap out the. The floor and wall, <clears throat> the, the floor and ceiling there with uh, 
nether woods. And yeah, we need to get our hands on more magma blocks to replace these. Yeah, yeah this looks damn good. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, the bed is over here. More of the mine. There's a farm there. Uh, thinking about building out a, <clears throat> a bed chamber somewhere, but at the moment it's like this. Yeah, some areas we have been done pretty here, but all of the areas is, as you may have seen, painfully need more work. I do have to say, the, the nether is not as I expected. Like, I, I knew it, it, I know Netherlands has a little red light district, but it's very ridiculous. Yeah, uh, let's take that since we are out of wood and we'll need a new pack hacks as well. So just there, then here. And off to adventure we can go. Yeah, not there. There. Adventure for more materials. That, okay, look at that copper there about your bed. That looks nice. It does, yeah. Okay, we are armored up, so let's head in. Probably should take a bow with, but yeah, there's a, there's a bit of server lag, so it, I don't think it's too useful. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Magma blocks, magma blocks. Up oh, there, are some. Yeah, uh, be right back. Just gonna throw in some food into the machine. And try not to get killed or burned. Uh, uh, no actually, promises. Noon, keep an eye on him, please. Oh, quartz. Always nice. Okay, I should probably start a bam... Actually, I had a small bamboo farm going downstairs. I should probably go and find some sand to <clears throat> expand that so I can make the books for the, well, the library part. For the moment, though, some free gold. I'm going to see if there's an area on the other side of the wall here for me to dig into and maybe somewhere that has some easier to get <clears throat> magma blocks i'm back at oh you're still alive <laughs> and i heard about free gold yeah there's some gold that was in the past here all right instantly i start to think of something i heard from deep space nine Star trek Okay. From Quark. Of course. Worthless gold. Why is the worthless gold? Uh, yeah, because the the Ferengi actually don't va put any value in gold itself. They want gold plated latinum. Yeah, so latinum mm -hmm. is liquid uh, valuable apparently. And I think there's only one time you actually get to see latinum when. Uh, you know who Morn is? Uh, Morn, it's another Ferengi, if I remember correctly. No, 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 no. He, yeah. he's the, oh, the Morn. He's the bartender. He's the bar, not a tender, but uh, their most frequent customer. Yeah, he apparently for years kept liquid lactimonum in his second spawn stomach that he stole, and he waited to use it, it uh, to after. He could legally own it and not need to return it. <laughs> Ugh, Star Trek and its aliens. Yeah. Do, it's kind of funny. It, he is, seems to be an interesting character, but Conor enough, we never hear him speak. Yep, that's the whole thing with him. Yeah, and yet people say something that once he gets start talking, he never stops. <laughs> It's just hard as all balls to get him to start talking in the first place, apparently. Yeah, and they even say, apparently, he had extremely 
a large amount of frenzy apparently helps a lot of people with advice and all that. Okay. He, he, he even fights Worf as a sporting partner. <laughs> and apparently good. Okay. So, it, he's one of those that people praise and all that offside, but you never get to see it. Yeah, uh, that being the whole joke that uh, people start expecting. Is he going to talk finally? Is he going to talk finally? And each time they can't block them. Moreover, they can't block the audience yeah. in this case. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah, for... I, maybe the, you, you remember Spider-Man series we watched? Yeah. yeah. That one was more of they can't block the character from talking all the time. I don't forget his name due to he only were allowed to use his voice almost almost at the end of the series. Like first that he actually got to sing, then actually have some dialogue. Yeah. Oop. Oh poor lad. Okay, we're back in more familiar more familiar spot, I think. We're still close to the portal. And we have been through here before. The portal is that way somewhere. Just need to find a way to get down low enough to magma blocks safely enough. Yeah, that's it's probably the hardest thing to do to do it safely. As well mm. to not get lost. Netherrack. I swear I think Netherrack is a typo they Never got around to fix due to people are now so used to say it. That's a possibility. Let's see. Actually, I actually want to go up there and close off whatever source that lava is coming from. Just to make things more secure. Yep. Yeah, like they couldn't be a good uh, marker or way to kill like ghasts, but. They still be at risk for oneself as well. Yeah, and we can build our own markers. Probably not dead space markers, but markers all the same. Yeah, we, I, I could see us making roads and stairs. Yeah, so we know that, oh, this is one of the roads. I know how to navigate through that. I, d d do you hear that? Yeah, there is an Enderman nearby. No, no, it was not an Enderman I heard. I yeah. think we may have a Piglin. Oh, never mind. Don't look them in the eyes, Alien. Remember that. Don't look them in the eyes. Otherwise, they fall in love with you. <laughs> and go full Young Diary on you. Possibly. <laughs> There's a ma oh, magma blocks and a magma cube. Yeah, apparently you've been here. Uh, I haven't been the only one using cobblestone to build over areas. Oh, true. Uh, oh, and oh, bet oh, this I did is a lot the... closer. This, I... this basalt is a lot closer than the other. Yeah, this is probably the better basalt uh, to get, but first, we're gonna have to fight for it. Yep. Gotta make clear that my back is clear. We're gonna get stuck between two of these. That's a magma cream. Yeah. We'll have to oh, collect God, that. I, forgot, I forgot the Greek phrases for stuck between Skilla and. Brother, what was the whirlpool monster's name? Uh. Isn't that the, the whirlpool monster? You mean Cilia? Uh, Skilla is he, he is the whirlpool monster's uh, sibling. Like Skilla is basically a mermaid with barking wolves as a waist and fish lower body. And then she, on the opposite of her is her. I think, I think it's brother that just sucks down so much water that it becomes a whirlpool. Okay, so if you're actually, not familiar them, with that one. They either you either get too close to one or the other. You need to be precise, or have to risk 
to aim each one of them when try to pause them. I think the Jace and the Orgonauts had a problem with them. Mm, yep. I might be wrong. I, I do know the Whirlpool monster did appear in the, well, Peter Jackson's uh, Lightning Bolt Faith. Okay. I oh, don't uh, think I've actually seen any of those movies, or at least not to completion. That hmm. surprises me. Also, apparently, you know, it's fans of the books are always going to complain about the movies with just about everything that gets a movie adaptation. But from what I've heard, the Peter Jackson fans are particularly unfond, no, not unfond of the movies. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the the were movies as well. Yeah. I try not to complain too much when a movie is made of a book, for I know there, there is limitations. And sometimes you can make a thing that's probably better than done than in the book and vice versa. So. Yep. Like, I still need to finish the books of Rusty Park, for example. But so far I'm loving it, but I'm still gonna love uh, Rusty Park the movies as well. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with different adaptations, uh, as long as they keep to a certain amount of quality. Yeah. And in this case, when it comes to Rise of Pocket List, I feel like I, I would like both of them for different reasons. Like, there's some things I'm going to dislike in the book. The book, and some of the things I dislike about the movie, but vice versa, I also think I'm going to like about each of them. Here's another slime. I'm going and to make sure that I have them. more than enough of these for the moment. And yeah, light isn't really an issue in the nether, so we can get rid of all of this magma. Uh, okay, that's Wait. some sturdy wood. Now I'm curious how long it'll take for it to burn. <laughs> Yeah, hello, That's... surprise! I should scroll the other way around. I say as I scroll the wrong way again. Oh, some more magma cream there. Must have missed that. Thank you. What I forget you what you magma need cream? magma cream for. But I believe it's for alchemy. Yeah, turn from. I am not sure what for. I, I know they are recently new, so they are probably not used for uh, going to the Ender Dragon. Nope. It's that wood is still not burnt. Now, so why is why do I have that in my secondary hand, anyways? Yeah, wh why? I, I understand if you had a shield, but... Uh, just a block of wood? It's a, a little bit weird choice. Hello. What have we here? Oh, some glass. <laughs> I thought it was something else. Um, yeah, looks like that's just not going to catch fire. I am honestly surprised. Okay, uh, let's cover this up, put down some marker to find our way back towards this place at some point. Yep. Lost that one, and that one. Okay, I, we need more nether stone. More gold. Gold! <laughs> more gold! Rich, rich gold! Yeah, as much as it's a bit of a story about how uh, gold diggers got rich and all that, out of all of them, <laughs> it was only like less than 1% that actually managed to, well, 
not go bankrupt from going out there. Yeah, try not to burn out. And oh yeah, something from noon sent by here. Once again, remind you about handling lava with care. Yeah, I'm not going to fall in, especially since uh, well we can't bring any water along in case we do get set on fire. Yeah, and, okay, I'm gonna tell you also this warning since it's you. Don't make lava puns near lava, they will... It will get heated quickly. Uh, you don't mean that I'm going to get burned from it? Everyone run! Okay, um... I'm going to dig out a quick bit. Oh my, I, now I realize I made myself... Did myself hit that pun? <laughs> Oh, dear. We should at one point start building roads in this place to make it easier to find our way around without having to rely on landmarks. Yeah, for I, yeah, I did recommend uh, to do uh, roads uh, a while back. So you did say it's probably take a long time, but seeing how this area is, it probably is a good idea to do roads. At least yeah. for areas where you need the, uh, nearby resources. Oh, there's multiple endermen around now. Let's see, I think we came from this way. What, does it regrow spore light? I don't think so. But you seem to always find more. Yeah, that's because there's plenty in the area. All right. And that is where the art portal should be. Actually, we could probably use the lights as markers as well. In some ways, like uh, road lights? Yeah. Then we just build a actual... pillar with one on top. Yep, next to the road, so we know that, right, we have a road over there. So it would be a, it need to be a simple, but an obvious design that it is we that made it. And yeah, we could use cobblestone. Actually, cobblestone is too frequent, probably. Um, hmm. What to use then? We could use the woods from around here. Plenty of those growing around. Yeah, and they look a bit different when they build. Okay, was my memory correct? Well, that is made by us, I believe. Then... Okay, gonna check on my food. Yep. So, try not to get burnt. Okay. Not exactly where we... I thought we were. But still close-ish, I think. Should be some way to climb up around here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we now know of an extra place, or a much easier place, to get basalt and such. <clears throat> Alright. I haven't had any visitors in a bit. Probably because people haven't been too active, and I actually can... Let's see how a block of quartz looks in all of this. First off, uh, get this. <laughs> get the glass again. There we go. And boards. I'm not sure if that's actually used for anything besides building. Quartz pillar. Actually, we could. Yeah, we could. That could do look very good in the corners. <laughs> if I put it upright. Okay. Um 
Uh, what else can be made with quartz? And what was... What do you make there? Quartz pillar. Okay, interesting. I'm going to stick this thing in the ceiling for the moment. But I kind of like them, do they seem almost out of place in here? Yeah, a bit too light. Yeah, definitely can be used to use as when you make your own uh, sleeping chamber and kitchen and all that. You know, the actual living quarter. Yeah. Probably going to need to stuff that place full of carpets and wool. Wool. Oh, shit. Hmm. What? We would need to find goats or sheep. I don't know what the mountain goats do. But I guess we could get wool from Dune. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. I just noticed something with the bu bu uh, block. Look closely. Do you see something happening with it? Yeah, it, it changes color slowly or that it pulses through. It, it's kind of shimmery. Like, it's supposed to... Represent glowing? You can put those oh. in the big corners. Mm, I, I think crying obsidian would be better, but still, that would could be useful for other things. Since, mm. Yeah, it stands out quite quite well. Yep. I'm thinking of putting slabs on the top there. Of that wood? That 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 could look quite nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, not of this wood. Um, I think it would lose its. <clears throat> I think it would lose its uh, appeal without the well, without the logs parts. Of that because that's not in the woods. Uh, Yes, yeah, still, it, it have a, still nice, a nice glow. It, it, no, it feels that you can't make a bookshelves out of them. At least bookshelves that gives that effect. But that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see. What sort of slabs could be put on top of that? Diorite and the sites. I very much doubt that we can make slabs out of bone. Yep. Hmm. Maybe we maybe we could just put some carpet on the top of it or something. But for the moment, let's just have a bit of a look with different things. Maybe copper slabs. Hmm. And behind the copper slabs, you put some uh, thing that glows. Maybe. For the moment, let's try some copper slabs in the place. Yeah, it, it'll it look better when we actually put the bookcases in as well. It, it'll give a better, yep. better sense of it as well. We can also combine these to make this chiseled quartz. You barely see it sizzled. <laughs> True. But it, That's kind of funny comical. It does have a shine to it, unlike the pillar or the normal, I think. Quartz, pillar, chiseled. Oh, they, they all have a shine to it. Or reflection. It's quartz. What do you expect? Hmm. While we're here, we have that there and there. And there. And then... There. 
Now the entire place is lit up. Okay. We'll seal that off with <laughs> other stone, of course. We actually still ha we also have to look at what we'll use for the ceiling as well. And in this play mm. in this bit we could probably put down the just the in not the enchanting table or the enchanting table is going here the alchemy. The alchemy stuff can go there. All right, that would make sense to have some gluey wood. So it, yeah, it, it kind of has the alchemy feel. Okay, I think I think more amethyst would probably look more gaudy than impressive. Hmm. And the diorite is probably too yet yeah, too bright in comparison to the rest. So let's try some of the crimson planks. Or we could just have it be normal stone in the corner here. Or ba more basalt. Yeah, so, cobblestone or basalt would probably look really good. Yeah, basalt would make more sense since it already looks like it's supporting the area. Then we just have to think on what to put behind the walls here. Or I'm thinking at the moment just clean stone. Hmm. And then again, maybe having it open, since there's already support over here on the sides of it. Hmm. We could, maybe we... Actually, we could just use andesite, I think, as the background blocks. Let's, let's have a look. Polished andesite. And... Where did... Here we left the basalt. Yep. Actually, we're short on that, it seems. So we should have brought down... We should have brought back more of that. <laughs> See, emerald is still on. Wrong. Very mm. nice. Okay, let's just do basalt in the corners. And then we do andesites like that. Yeah. That looks good. Let's give it a more clean look. If needed, we can swap the lower ones out with the redstone, the granite. Keep it a bit more in, uh, <clears throat> in, in line with the rest of everything. Yeah, I think you're right there. <clears throat> and yeah, we could basically say that this is like some sort of magic circle going around the room or something. Yeah, then again, if we get more crying uh, obsidian, we could replace them with that. But for now, they do, it does look damn good. Uh, wait, uh, why are the holes here? Because I just made it. Because because we because we pushed this wall out one bit, the floor lining wouldn't really fit anymore since it's supposed to be oh. 
one line, then the other. Okay, now I see what you're doing. All right. Now I get you. Now I get you. So just quickly restoring that. There. Okay. Uh, where is the granite? There's the granite. And, yeah, I'm just going to leave all of those slabs aside until we've put down those freaking <laughs> book casings. Uh, granite there. Yeah, we, we, we're going to need a lot of ender pearl if we want to. If we use, if we find that area where the ender portal is. We should be able to find a little book uh, shelves there, guaranteedly. As, as, at least I think so. If they haven't been looted. Uh, true. Otherwise, we're going to need a lot of cows or find a damn lot of villagers. But I think okay. they can be appeared in some ruins, though I no idea how common they are in ruins. Then we fill this bit up. And then things are about done. Still need to work on the ceiling here. Hmm. But yeah, this looks good so far, I'd say. Oh yeah. Maybe we can swap out these at some point, and if I find a, th a third piece of crying obsidian, it's going in here. There, just cover it up a bit. For the ceiling, hmm, I'm a bit unsure. We could keep it flat like this, but we could also just uh, put some, um, some sort of pattern to it or make a dome out of it. Well, it is already in a way open in some areas. It, it could work sort of to make a dome maybe. For a moment, let's take a look at how this looks sealed up. And probably not do as elaborate a thing as the floor and such. Wait, okay, this does look good. Okay, it just needs a bit more of a pattern to it, I'd say. And maybe we can put a small dome in the middle here. Could work. Could work. Hmm. I'm just thinking up for a moment. Like maybe making small domes around each of these, having them go up a little bit. So we can do that right. We can try that right now. Just feel like you could use slabs as a roof. That way you could have the roof lights peek out a little bit. True. It's raining cold. <laughs> Bloody sake, it's raining cold. Santa must be unhappy. Phantom? Yep. Santa. No. Oh, Alright, that makes no sense. Says I'm wondering why did it say Phantom instead of Santa? <laughs> Alright. Just dig this out. Seal it up again after. Uh, because we don't want any zombies spawning in the ceiling. Okay, that's some is something inside again. Mm. 
That should prevent most things from spawning in there. And actually... That could work. Yeah, that, it, it, yeah, that looks nice and looks a bit more unique as well. Also, with me, we could use st staircases at the uh, closer to the wall, just to get them, you know, a little bit uh, doomish. Like having get more connected than just by a block like that. Yeah, so it gets a little bit more another uh, accent, basically. I need to grab some more andesite for that, or granite maybe. Yeah, probably andesite since granite is already around the lights. If I recall correctly, and the site can be made into bricks. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. Yeah, we can do this here. Yeah, that that, that looks. Uh, sorry, that looks way better than I expected even. Okay, then we just have to dig all of this out again. Actually, we only need to dig around the lights for that at the moment. Yeah. Hmm, actually, I think I'm not a color could be better like a. A deep slate or more dark stone just to match the room. Yeah, you mean with the stairs or the Yeah, the these? stairs. And yeah, maybe the granite as well could be replaced. Just to so get uh, it to get gives a bit more better focus to the light when there's a bit more dark around it. Hmm. And it would actually match match the floor even in a way. Uh, we could use dark stone for that possibly, or black stone. Yeah, black stone would probably be perfect for this. If we still and have would, some. Yeah, it would be perfect for the uh, the roof in general. Let's see. Black stone, black stone. Yeah, we definitely need to get more of that. And. Let's turn this into more of it. Can we make stairs with that? We can. At least blackstone is easy to get. Well, somewhat easy. Or would we do it with bricks? Let's see. Actually, I actually had a random idea the other day for this. And that be? A idea that probably would make sense, but also a bit comical. That you 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 take note of where exactly this uh, your forge is here. Then on the surface you build a chimney. <laughs> then you make the smoke uh, so you can proof out smoke. There, I, there is an item called a smoker, I believe, that does give off smoke. And it seems that the ser yeah, server's having a bit of slowdown again. Yeah, but it, that's a bit more of a, a comical idea. Just, just imagine you're walking on grass where you see this song and you see a long sheen coming out from the ground. <laughs> and that's more true. I mean, thought, just, that is a bit mean. Like, if someone were to jump inside it, they just fall down into lava. <laughs> yeah, I could use that as a trap of sorts. Yeah, but it's still a bit mean since, yeah, for those that dies inside it, yeah, their the, the loot is gone. Uh, no, there's that, uh, we have that 
uh, inventory save thing. Oh, so it won't burn? Nope. Or it shouldn't, That's at good. least. Hmm. And part of me wants to stick with this. Yeah, we can use, we can keep the granite, but use uh, black stone uh, for the rest. For granite, I guess would make sense as it is a bit more warm color. Yeah. So it mm. kind of makes sense. And it yeah, that, that color does look quite uh, well with the black. I need to empty out my inventory of all of these blocks. <laughs> And it's a cobblestone one, so skip. I'm just going to throw everything in at the moment, and then I'll pick up what doesn't belong. We're still in use. And not those. Uh, blackstone, blackstone. Granite. Granite. It seems like we're low on granite as well. Imagine if we made the entire roof of uh, lava cubes. <laughs> it probably would give a bit of a heavy metal look. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay, apparently we don't have the recipe for that thing yet. Um. Actually, can we make stairs out of basalt because that would fit the most okay not normal basalt and we're one short for seeing if polished can make it actually uh, won't you be able to see it here yeah we can't make stairs out of that actually just easy step wait there yep Wait, why is it only showing copper there? There's a lot more stair blocks than that. Nope. Okay. Or is that only looking in? That's strange. It should show a lot of bunch of other stairs that we can make as well. Hmm. So we've made a bunch of different ones as well. Uh, are the other ones called stairs? Uh, yeah, they are. That, that's really weird. Hmm. Or is this... No. Hmm. It isn't just stuff that we... Glow item frame. Okay. From what I thought first, it, it might be stuff that can only be crafted on a, a crafting table, but no. So yeah, there's something weird going on with this. Hmm. Weird indeed. And for now, let's just continue work a bit. Yeah, then we can uh, go and uh, try to get more uh, materials. Again. So it would be nice to find some loot. More than enough than we need, but okay. Better to have too much than too little. Hmm. Actually... Maybe we could just have it be surrounded by blocks and not connect to the wall with stairs and just have andesites around it. Oh, it, it looks so nice. Hmm. Maybe once we have enough <laughs> blackstone and such, we could replace it <laughs> with all of that. Hmm? <laughs> just like... This feels like one of those YouTube videos where they show off those luxurious mansions. Yeah, that they can rent for a day and then piss yeah. off again. Okay, this does also look nice. Hmm. 
At least in the corners. Uh, maybe we can put down a cross section of something else. Or let me just the uh, work more on the roof uh, when we have the materials for it. Yeah. Okay. I do think uh, making the roof a bit more darker color would be nice. I'd say the rest of the room already has enough darkness to it, so it could be a bit lighter. Mm, true. At least it, it does match the walls a little bit better, at least. There. Not putting a block on top of that, otherwise that will disable the furnace. And here... Here we can put another glowstone. Here and... There's some... There's some. Actually, just bring the entire batch along. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Looks very nice, actually. Small idea. The granite around it? Nope. Ooh, okay. Using the stairs to make a little doom? Yep. Yeah, that, that should be very nice. And then we have this one there. That looks there very go. good. Okay, then all that's missing is the freaking <laughs> bookcases and perhaps some slabs across it. Yeah, um, maybe pillars, but that's a maybe with pillars in the middle. So it looks like it's supporting the roof. I think that would make the room look a bit too cluttered. Actually, yeah, that, yeah it could uh, do a little clutter thing, yeah. Okay. Shovel. Actually, we already have some, yeah, some sugar cane here. So now let's just now let's just go get the uh, <clears throat> some sand so we can speed up sugarcane production. Then we can make the bookcases. I, uh, don't... Hmm? I think you're forgetting another thing you need to make books in this game. Yeah. Leather. Yeah. And I'm sure you have enough cows for that. Yeah, we can start breeding them as well. Excuse me a moment as I grab part of my snack. He got snacked, a little bastard. Lucky bastard. Not willing to share even. Says the one who <laughs> probably has an air fryer in his lap most of the time. Uh, no, no, I have, I have it in my other room. But Close enough. Bloody heck, since yeah, but bloody heck, since the pandemic, I've been using it way, way much more. Oh, I so uh, once this pandemic is over, I'm gonna be so happy to be able to feel like I can use the kitchen again without uh, feeling awkward. I uh, awkward when someone else is working there. Okay, this should be enough. Might as well level it out a bit. There we go. This looks pretty pretty with the light rays and such uh, from Optifine. Oh yeah, very good actually. Okay, 30 sync. We could borrow some from the neighbor, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no one, someone getting annoyed. Yeah, that, that that would just be rude to just take random bricks from your neighbor. I meant more about the sugarcane, which they have a lot of. 
Oh. But I could be using it for something, probably for trading or so. Uh, let's see. We could probably upgrade this walkway to stone brick at some point. But, yeah, at some point. Yeah, do I kind of like the cobblestone in this case. Stone brick would almost feel like you should make it even bigger, yeah? like a, as a main road. You know, the kind of you have a lot of uh, trade going through. Let's see, has anything new fallen into the pits here? Oh, right, that's why you have that there. there some more cats. <laughs> yeah, for some more reason, copper. a bunch of animals that keep falling into this place. Nope. <laughs> now I can be a minotaur. I should see minotaur? if I could just trap all of these cats. You mean in a minotaur? Pit. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that is something. A, a, a minotaur or cane smithing a minotaur. <laughs> Oh, and they're all going to escape into the, t into here. Well, not all of them, but two of them. Okay. We'll just have to dig out a spot for the sugar cane. Uh, actually, we can just we can put them right next to the melons and such, and we should probably expand that farm as well to well have wheat and such. And just clean the entire place up a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna need to do some work. And try and separate See? these. Nope. Okay. Shoot. Wrong. I was wanting to dig these two in or block them into a place of their own, but oh well. To keep them separated. Uh, no, everyone will go there. <laughs> Apparently, they're all just a bunch of cats because they all just want to sit on the same place. <laughs> no, actually, I, I think they're trying to get out towards grass or something. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they have no grass to graze. And those sheep need grass to graze to regrow the wool? I'm not sure. I can figure it out. You probably need grass for the cows to make milk. Yep. yep. Okay, I was aiming for the block. Well, you got wool and meat now. Must have a grab it. Says you're probably gonna need to eat soon. In game. Mm -hmm. Grab that. Uh, actually, not, not the brightest idea to grab, to jump in and grab because we need to. Well, okay. okay, we can't get out and keep the stairs or the ladder with us. So it just means we'll have to make a new one. Okay. Let me just fill that in. Uh, so they can't escape out of this thing. Okay, they're, fight they're trying to fight over who gets across. Okay. Uh, and now they're all just getting into the small space. Yeah, this is not working out too well, is it? Yeah, I should probably just... Hmm. I should probably just try and see if I can lock them in a, in just a pair, a, a pair of sheep here, and we have well cows, two cows in this area now, so we can just 
breed the cows here, breed the sheep here, and kill off what doesn't belong. And the, the chickens, though... Uh, yep. It, yeah, yeah, apparently the chickens... You're gonna need a better animal area, for this is a disaster. Okay, and where'd the other one go? No, oh, hello there. Um, okay, I'll dig a quick little pit here. And then just lure them in with seeds. If one of them doesn't get themselves killed already. Oh dear, oh dear. And... Might as well make another ladder to get out. Okay, there we go. Mm, wheat we should bring along because we are going to breed them. Okay. Ladder there. Ladder there. Now, where's the chickens? There's one of them. Okay, just come Hello. along. Almost got it. You record do, uh, the bad reputation of Doom Forever, right? Yeah, I think you mean Duke Nukem Forever? Yeah, but Duke Nukem Forever. I mean, Maybe yeah. Because you said Doom Forever. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that was a derp. They re they released the, the incomplete version of the earlier version of that that was made in early 2000. Yeah, CV11 got his hands on that. And from the looks yeah. of it, if they'd gone forwards with that edition, it would have been a lot better of a game. <laughs> yeah, a better received. Like, story would be similar, but better story still, and better game, game mechanics and all that. For... Yes, I saw it, it was obvious un unfinished, I could see that. But I couldn't see, it was enough for me to see that, yeah, that one was, if Game Enough Work, would be the superior product. If they have kept um, working on it. Yeah, but why apparently one of the team did not like it due to did not have some shadow rendering that some Doom game had. Because I just felt like seriously, that, 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 that's that's why you trash it down. But games like Half Drive did not have that shadow system. It was the yeah, most just... popular game. Executives being idiots. Yeah. We've seen where that goes now with, uh, yeah, companies nowadays. Yeah. Anything has been happening during the pandemic is that many, yeah, people higher up in these industries has been very under fire. Okay, let's clean up a bit. Uh, there is that. I'll put the coal in. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in here since it is relatively valuable. Glowstone. And then all of the actual stone in here. And now let's go. Actually, we need a bucket because it needs. Sugarcane needs to grow next to water for some. Uh, Mm, I'm not sure if it actually has to in real life or such, but let's just go with it. And we also need a water source up here because we don't have that. Actually, we have, sort of. It's just underneath here. Okay. Dear. Do you could make a nice glowing fountain. Uh, how exactly do we mean? Uh, mm. hmm. uh you, you know how to make a endless water thing yeah basically that but instead of grass you just put glowstone all, all around it okay and it i think that other chicken might just be lost to us <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about 
You retreat. I'm armored up, but I'm not looking for a fight. Chicken. Uh, let's see. This way. And yeah, we need to build up the tree farm again as well. Okay. Also, I just replaced okay. the block here with the ladder, so no, nothing can come up back here again. I, I really hope you find that uh, underground forest area, so you could start making your farming gardens a bit more nice looking. Yeah. That we'll have to do with this for the moment. Um... So I could imagine you needing it up it could be done off stream. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look far and wide probably to find that. Uh, so actually, no. oh yeah, uh, uh, to find the underground forest will probably be more fun to find this. I mean, I mean like it, me, it making the farm look nicer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can try and do that off stream. For the moment. Um... Okay, yeah, this is a moment I could see you using glowstone in, instead of a cobblestone, just to, well... It, it would definitely be more unique to see you <laughs> water with some glow under it. Yeah, with Optifine, that would probably look pretty good as well, yeah. Hmm. Let's actually go check that out. Yeah, for you, you, you should probably have a lot of... Yeah, actually, yeah, we, due to we have the nether and so close to us on there, those mushroom forests, we should be able to find uh, those glowstone and glow mushrooms quite damn easily. Okay. And then we put these down. They will need a lot more space to grow because they can go to a maximum of four high. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I just realized something. Would it be better to do that under the melons? Where you actually have a lot higher roof? Uh, true, but the, the lower area isn't really secure. Oh, true. Wait, hasn't this zombies been coming from this direction? Yeah, but they've been getting up through that way, which is now blocked off by a ladder. Ah, all right, all right. Okay. Just doing this for a bit of cleanup. There. Okay. Uh -huh. I probably could have just done sand, water, sand. Actually, let's just do that. Yeah, do this time while you have a chance, replace the ground under you with the glowy stuff. <laughs> just on that one. Um, glowstone. Yeah, that would look nice. I'm writing my hands. Uh, I don't have a spare at the moment, so we'll have to make another. 
Yeah, wait, wait, do have, what do we have in most of the mushrooms or the? Yeah, the mushrooms thing. can be easily re, re, the mushrooms can be easily moved to another spot. Yeah, I, I mean the glow mushrooms. Yeah, we can. We have a lot more of those at the moment. Oh, we have a bunch of glow s dust that we could make into glow stone. Hmm. Okay. Looks almost nicer. Go. Yeah, I could see you making a bit of a dome in here as well. Could try that, yeah. But at the moment, this will have to do. Fancying it up can wait until later. Yeah, when we have more resources and better plan out how to fix it, it mess. It, it kind of looks like a mess, especially with the animals. I'm not be surprised you actually break a few uh, laws with how you <laughs> have trapped the animals. Oop, sinking away there. Oh, that's a gap. Hmm. Running a bit in the walking space here, but oh well. so the sugarcane will have its room to grow. And this is just because I want to. Okay. Yeah, we want people. Helia has a sweet tooth. What? Say you don't? Nope. Now, I'm not denying that I have one. Let's see. Two, three, four. Yep, that way. There we go. That should all be source blocks. And then we put down the last line for the sugar king here. There we go. One thing that I found personally a bit annoying with farming you know, sugar cane is that you typically often you want to expand your farm instead of uh, actually using it to make stuff <laughs> so you end up with a massive farm and and actually not making anything with it yeah unless you're really into a uh, emerald e economy okay i don't think sugarcane needs lights for growing but we should probably still put a few of these up just to prevent stuff from spawning. And yeah, this I put that down a while back to trade <clears throat> to trade items with somebody. Okay. Yeah, you you so gonna need to make a better edible area. You cleaning it with sugar cane? <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning it sweetly. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's mean. Okay, <laughs> he needs a lot of spread ink. Yeah, 
why? What, yeah, no, I'm curious. Why he needs they, why do I need that many ink? Uh, for decoration stuff. Uh, all right, so they were not opening a squid ink pasta restaurant. Yes, apparently Japan is popular to eat, use squid ink on pasta. I am very unsure why I still struggling to think that squid ink is edible. It is organic, but then again, so are a lot of poisons. Yeah. Okay, we still need to find you, your partner, and okay, you can have your little roost in the wall there. And to have it line up with the rest, just put that up. There we go. And that lines up now. What the heck? <laughs> oh dear. Nether roof? Yeah, not it exactly sure something. why people would want to. Uh, not to tell you. Actually, on the nether roof, you could probably just travel around a lot faster. And not entirely sure how they could get down from places. Maybe with ha by growing vines down something. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, let's see, coordinates that we have is, of course, that's going to block everything about it. Uh, 55 minus 95, or 91. Uh, don't you want to be careful since that could land in middle of the room here? Yeah, uh, just as likely to appear on the surface. Oh. <clears throat> Something to me probably good at it to actually, in some areas, decorate the nether portals. So they uh, stand out a little bit more. Now, we did put the green wood around it, but yeah, we could probably fortify it a bit better. Yeah, and other uh, nether portals that we make in future. Like, it could be really good at it to make it look like a, a structure that stands out and screams, someone build it. Okay, just for the moment going to put down these blocks here in place of <clears throat> the bookshelves because it, it'll look a lot closer i'm thinking we could maybe we could put a different color wood on top of it and uh, we'll have to find those first of course good work uh birch maybe can we actually make slabs out of this And we can actually. Nice. Um, don't have any other woods at the moment, I think. We should probably have one block, bo yeah, block, one box just for wood. And let's. Okay. Let's just see how these two look at the moment. I'm thinking we have enough green. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I think we'll we should go for the purple wood with this one. Yeah, we will or be best and we'll uh, arcane a bit more. And yeah, we can put up a a chest for wood over here. Okay. Oh, we are almost at our stream time, though, it seems. Oh. Okay. Uh, actually... The, 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 the Minecraft streams almost used to feel it's a bit almost short. Uh, yeah, time does fly when you're concentrating on stuff. Uh, there's the woods. True. Very true. And yes. I also feel it's fun to say, uh, watch you at the venues here, call, commentate, and also in some way also help you decorate the uh, base. Okay. I'm heading up to go look for him. Yeah, I, I just yeah. The reason I checked there is because I noticed that uh, our character's hand isn't in armor, but that's because the armor well, goes to the shoulders and no further. Yeah, I kind of find it weird. Like you get full armor pants, you get boots, you get helmet. You skip m much of the arms. And hands. Is it like those are the parts you also want some protection on? Yeah. But yeah, you need a bit more flexible material than just straight iron. And yeah, I think he just popped out of our portal instead. It's gonna mean he accidentally came over here. Where did he vanish to? I saw his name. <laughs> Hello. Arcane Smithy workshop, right? Actually, now that I look at this, it looks a bit corporate like this at the top. <laughs> Like a, a office building lighting. <laughs> it's a bit of a contrast. Oh. Uh, die. I don't know who that is. Die Katana? I'm not sure if that was audible on the mic, but uh, yeah, the call is going out to head out to the our, yeah, to the aunts and uncles because we're going to be have a barbecue there. Lucky rascal. All right. A part of me yeah. feels like I should dig a stairway or a ladder down from this village there to our place. You're gonna be a deer. And also, it'd probably be nice to have some road uh, light here as well. Yeah. Daytime Enderman. And that's the timer going off. 
Okay, so we can just finish up a bit here then. Uh, see where this portal is. I think actually some of... Yeah, I think someone built dug in there to make a house. Is the Enderman die? Yeah, it's, they're attacking it. Oh. And up in flames. <laughs> Rented? Uh, to my knowledge, they just popped up in there. But yeah, I didn't check all of their streams. Because otherwise I'd be busy with this you know, for 10 hours straight. Okay. Looks like they've been doing some repair work on the bridge. Yeah, I think I might as well slap on some repairs as well. Okay. That's a different looking... Up oh no, that's because of these shadows. Okay. Okay, let's hope this doesn't break anything. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is what they meant. They are on top of the... Okay, they're on top of the world. Oh, wait. It basically as a, it... a highway. Yeah, wouldn't that make it easier to just uh, go to one location... Uh... If you want to another location, since, uh, let's see, it did like one, uh, like, let's see, like one meter in nether equal to eight meter in the world or something? Yeah. Okay, uh, minus 280. Let's see. Going to need to note that down for a bit. Uh, let's see. 280. 310. Okay, now to chase after them. But I saw on the right of us, I saw them using uh, redstone torches for lighting. Uh, it's basically connect one place to another so we could probably use that for a high for a highway up here this looks odd with that you can see a bit of distortion on the horizon with this and we are headed in the right direction yes we are yep this almost feels a bit cheating okay we must have passed into yeah crimson forest is that it? Yeah, I feel like if I ever were to play Minecraft, I would not do this method. Just presumably would feel a bit wrong. What have we... Yeah, but did that cat get here? Uh, no, they've used heads to mark these. Okay. Now, so that thing that she's holding in her hand is a totem of something. Undying? Yeah, a totem of undying. It means that if they die, well, they don't. Yeah, and those are no worth. But that's one way to get XP. What's the... Oh, oh, they shoot! They, <laughs> trying they, they to attack. shoot! <laughs> yeah, I think okay. they tried to uh, castrate you there.
<laughs> seeing all of those things poking around is like seeing a flock of french fries or something. Angry french, french fries. Angry fries. Okay, so did that's some... why people are... Did you hear something popping over here as well? Unsure. They're almost killing you. Okay, we'll just finish up with this, and then I'll have to go, because they'll probably start to complain at me to just head on over for the barbecue. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this way. Be they basically just grab the bookshelves and log or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, you can't actually open the chat menu once you're in the portal. Might be a good design. They're taking a bit longer, I'm guessing. Uh, what coordinates are is this? <laughs> minus twenty five, minus twenty four, minus eight twenty eight thousand hundred. Oh, they ran off. Uh, where are they? Well, let's a, see. Six max amount. Three, No to... hmm? nope. Okay, for a moment I thought they had a Jawa in the field there, but no, it was just a villager with their face not completely loaded. Nope. Let's just not mention that. Yeah, bookshelves, okay. Let's see. Okay, nine emeralds, that is a lot. And then again, once you have to set... <laughs> the way all of them are looking at you. <laughs> oh, wait, are they, are they actually working on these? With the noise? Or is that just meant to make them more easily recognizable. Both. Hmm. You can need uh, those tables to get the variant. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, what's here? Okay, I see what's happened. Uh, if I recall correctly, villagers will spawn golems nearby if they feel threatened. And yeah, as that one is showing, they, they they have water in there, which causes them to flow into the, the lava block, which is actually held in place with signs, because through physics. <laughs> and yeah, the golem dies, and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> the loot goes here. 
I both like and dislike those kind of uh, things. Like it, I don't know. It feels like kind of kills the game. Like it cannot remove the adventure. True, but a lot of stuff with these games is also just a lot of grinding as well. Oh, what? What is that one doing in there? Is he supposed to be there? I don't think so, for that looks like a security issue. What is they want him to... Oh, if he get... If they get turned into a zombie and they get cured, they will sell the price for cheaper. Okay. So, yeah, that... It, you know, all the way, that zombie is there for a reason. But I'm pretty sure zombies should be able to hit them when they are like that. Or... Okay, I... S mm. Or is the... It might be that the... Yeah, I, I think that the trap door keeps them just enough away to not be able to hurt them. But close enough to turn them into something else. Yeah, once they once they block their standing on is lowered. Which is what the switches are for, I'm guessing. <laughs> it it is all very, very clever once you act figure out what's going on with everything and such. Yep, but also this, at the same time disturbing. If you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> just repeatedly turn uh, <laughs> villagers undead and heal them just to get a discount. Yeah, it, 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 it does feel like a, there's a little... Cr a decision is... Actually, yeah, it, it, it is, this is likely... <laughs> If this was in real life, this would be so illegal. <laughs> because leather needs to be cured before it's actually usable. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, okay, I guess we're not getting any bookshelves today. Yeah, they just need to be... The way they have it set up is that they can just trade back and forth stuff, which is what uh, often iron farms and such are also for, so that they can sell the iron, get emeralds and such. Sweeping edge. I'm not sure what that does. I'm presuming it widens the attack rate uh, swipes or something. Mending causes stuff to repair itself. Looting, well, loots more stuff. Aqua affinity actually allows for water breeding, I believe. Fortune gives more stuff. Depth Strider gives more sp uh, speed on the water. Respiration, I actually don't know. Unbreaking says it. Punch is more knockback. Silk touch breaks blocks without well turning them into break you know, broken versions. Like you can, you could uh, <clears throat> use that to keep glass intact or keep stone as stone. Sharpness oh, yeah. is more damage. Protection is well, <laughs> it says it on the lid. Okay, if we had some emeralds with, we could get some potatoes and such as here as well for our own farm. We should probably move our own composter upstairs to the farm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hmm. I'm guessing those dispensers behind them might be filled with buckets of uh, milk or something. Actually, can I trade some wheats or emeralds with these?
Yeah. It's not cheap, but yeah, it does get you emeralds. And yeah, emeralds as a currency, you can just exchange for just about anything else. And it is also rare enough you can just easily mine emerald either. Like, you can mine it, but it's gonna be rare. Okay, this one has run out of them, it seems. So we just need to wait for this one to finish. Or healing. I'm not sure what channeling does. But yeah, these villagers are ke these villagers are kept here like cows in a milking station. <laughs> and what's worse, they can actually see each other but he because of the stairs instead of blocks. <laughs> What was that noise? Cured. I want to go to oh, cure. the curing. Okay. No, no. <laughs> it was one off, but they all look the same, so can you blame me? Rude. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, there it is. To look out how the, all of how you work with villagers and such, because there is that village nearby that we could probably uh, kidnap a few <laughs> volunteers from. It's a work nightmare to work with on its own. And we should still set up as a new home place somewhere else but yeah okay we made progress at the least <laughs> yep okay so then uh, mm. uh oh yeah i'm going to need to stretch before i go i think <laughs> uh anyways oh, um, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you in the chat, Noon and Bumps, S-W-O. I'm, I'm, I'll just call you Bumb for the moment, or Bumblebee. <laughs> thank you for visiting, thank you for chatting along. Uh, you're always welcome to uh, show up again some other time if you found us interesting enough. And yeah, of course, always, always thanks to you as well, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Um, I know my schedule for the coming week. It should be a pretty easy one, in general. On Tuesdays, we should on, on Tuesday we should be able to do a stream if we push it forwards a bit again. On Thursday, maybe as well because it's just early shifts again. And Saturday we'll be continuing with Monkey Island for as long as that's needed. Once we are done with that, we'll probably move these streams, you know, the Minecraft stream to there, so we can pick up Showcase Sunday again on, well, Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but for now, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch Sudfish Seagulls.